the hanami is in the tail. Hello! Hi! We're Crystal and Candy of Travel Pockets. We're sisters who are half American and half Japanese, and we love to travel the world in style. We grew up as military brats, so we're used to moving from place to place. That's why we love traveling so much. Two, three, four. I'm canoeing. We post videos weekly and would love for you to subscribe to our channel. Follow us along on all of our adventures. biggest Starbucks right now in Japan and also for the cherry blossoms um, the Megiddo River is like a famous spot to come and watch the cherry blossoms but it's not in full bloom yet so even though it is kind of packed it's more bloomed over here so it's way more packed the Megiddo River is like um, there's like different sections of it and when we first got out of the station it wasn't that bloomed they're still out there but then like we went to like the middle section and it was like super bloomed there so there was like a lot more people in that area and then we're still walking it's like just it's okay yeah so it's like it's interesting like this one section is but, um, we're actually trying to find this one because we're kind of just like walking through them right now. And uh, we're just saying, like, man, like the stores that are around here, the little shops, they are making it. Oh, yeah. It's like almost like a festival. Mm -hmm. So they always like the little shops and the restaurants around here, they actually create like a little, what is it? They, they stay outside and sell yeah outside, little booths. Yeah. That's it. They create little booths outside and they sell drinks and food. So they make a lot of money. This is like the time to make money for them. Yeah. Um, and everybody loves to drink alcohol around this time. It's like, like Candy says, like a festival. So it's like a, it's like a party. And then it's blooming again. So it just depends on one sec which section you go to. Yeah. And there's somebody. Selling something. I see. I see that strawberry thing a lot. Everybody's like drinking it. So we are at the famous, and not famous, the world's biggest Starbucks. They just opened up. Uh, was it this year? I think it was this mm -hmm. year. It's like a couple months ago. Actually. We don't think we'll be able to get in, um, but we're gonna go and check out and see how long the wait is. Four hours. Oh, here's your gun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Let's take it. The first thing I think is. You got a photo, you So. I guess they did wait that long. That's why she was here from afternoon until nighttime. Your friend yeah. waited for like four hours. I don't know how long she waited, but she did not come here first thing in the morning, I'll tell you that. I don't think her friend did. <laughs> she was here at night time too. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Yeah. 
生の年乙女なので大粒です。亡くなり次第もう間もなく終了です。一度入り大盛り大サービス実施中。生の年乙女です。to rain as well, so I think it's good that we went today to see it. Yeah. Some areas were not fully bloom yet, but other areas were, you know, pretty much full bloom, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Um, so it's still like a good time to see it. One other thing that's new in the Negro area around the uh, cherry blossoms is the new Starbucks there. Japan built the biggest Starbucks in the world right now. They just built it a couple months ago. Um, it's March 2019 right now. And they just, since they just opened it and at the busiest time, I knew it was going to be crowded, but we weren't expecting to be a four hour wait. Yeah, I was shocked. I was thinking maybe like, oh yeah, maybe one or two hours, or like get a little, so basically you have to go in and get a ticket to get, play, get your place in line, a number, and then we're going to get the ticket and maybe just walk around and enjoy the cherry blossoms, but I don't think we could have killed four hours there. That's, no way. We were already no. tired. Well, the thing about this Starbucks too, it's not just like your normal Starbucks. We kind of saw some photos online. They have really fancy drinks. Um, Very fancy. Just like drinks you probably can't get anywhere else. So that's why we kind of wanted to see it too. But we're not that crazy, but we'll wait four hours. The main reason why I wanted to go to Megro was to see the cherry blossoms anyway. So Starbucks was kind of like a secondary thing. Like, hey, if we get to go, great. But we really wanted to see the cherry blossoms. So we did. We mainly did that. And we were happy because it, it was really pretty along the river. It's All the trees are like lined up on the river and there's actually lots of trees. It's not just one area. It's not that long to walk, but you have plenty of um, opportunities to see it. Yes. So like one section didn't have that many trees blossoming and the next section had like a whole bunch blossoming. So just make sure you walk through the through all of it, yeah. um, sidewalk or along the river. And when you're walking in, there'll be lots of uh, food booths, vendors out because they know like all the tourists will be there. So make sure you get some of that stuff too. So yeah, that's about it. We sound pretty tired. We are very tired. We've had a long day. <laughs> all right, so, so that's our review of Negro River and Cherry Blossom Watching, or they call it Hanami. Hanami. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel.